Hello guys, yep, it's five minutes past 1 a.m. in the morning and I need to go to work now. And doing all the moving I've done, um, I only managed to have like one hour of sleep, but I didn't sleep really because I was just, I was not really tired because of all the moving. Uh, I've just been so excited about it. So I came home, had a shower, and uh, just and relaxed a bit. Um, and I try to have a sleep in bed, but I could only sleep for one hour. I only had one hour sleep, so now I need to go to work because I don't start until five. But there's no trains leaving between two and five, so I gotta catch the 135 and sit in the airport for two hours before I start my shift, uh, which is a bit annoying. But never mind that. Uh, it's very humid now. I think we're in for some rain soon. Uh, but that doesn't matter because it's far inside. I only got five hours tomorrow from five to eleven. Which is alright, so just heading down to the station now and I could probably have a snooze on the train and a couple of hours snooze when I get to the airport which would be fine so yeah but gosh am I going to be tired tomorrow? I think so oh and I haven't even told you guys I'm actually um, I'm actually at the moment driving in a car which might be considered if I can afford it um, for me to get it. I haven't decided yet though, um, but I'm boring this weekend. Um, Sunday I'm working all day, so it doesn't matter. But tomorrow, after work, I got time to travel around, test it, and see if I like it or not, and also write down the stuff that needs to be fixed on it. And uh, I might decide if I want it or not. So I might have a car. You never know. All right, so. Uh, I'll see you guys later, after a train ride, after two hours waiting in the airport. Bye. Take care. Alrighty guys, after a long day of being at work, not a long day really, but it's been really tiring and uh, I haven't slept for about 30 hours now and I'm really, really knackered, really tired, but I just painted my door here. Uh, it's still this dry. That is, until it's dry, it's going to be the, like that. Then that, that that's because it's not completely dry yet. When it's completely dry, it's going to be all same color. So that looks better than the black one, doesn't it? So yeah, that was a black door before. It looks a bit no, more nice now when it's blending a bit more in. Oh, and we got the little bug. Can you guys see it? It's a little spider. Ooh, creepy spider. Hello, Spider. Spiderman and ooh, uh, creepy. But he's very tiny. If you see my hand next to him, <laughs> so he's not that dangerous, really. Oh, and also, I painted um, the door frame here. So that is done. Looks good. Huh? So yeah. Uh, oh, and I unpacked my little plane here. Yeah, isn't that nice? My little baby, and I put the landing gear on it. Um, I wanted to go fly it originally today, but I really can't because if you look outside, it is quite windy, and this little plane will not deal with that sort of wind. Um, it's actually just very, very windy outside, really. Um, so, yeah, so it'll have to wait, which is a bit sad. And I got the charger here for it, it comes with a nice charger, and the best part about it is that. Um, uh, it's, um, it is a park zone, this is the original park zone charger, uh, DC quick charge, and it comes with one battery, uh, which is one of these park zones, uh, LiPo batteries, 120 amps, and also it comes with three extra batteries for free, that's a summer offer they got, so I got three extra batteries for, um, oops, sorry, I'm just messing around a little bit. But three extra batteries free in the buy. And the best part about these three batteries, they work with the Blade MSR, which I got right there. They are the same batteries, which is cool. And the same charge as well. So I can use all the batteries. If I want to go flying, I can charge all the batteries and take the plane and go flying with that as long time as I want. Or until all the batteries are used. Or I can do it with my MCPX. No, um, MSR. It's a bit tricky when you see the names on it. That's called an MSR, that's called an MCPX, that's called an SR120. And then we got the Blade SR down there, and we got two of those. So, yeah. 
uh, silly names. And people just say, oh, you're a bladeaholic. So, well, yes, I am a bladeaholic because I'm very pleased with them. I think they're very good helicopters. Reliable, cheap in parts, and uh, they fly well. And they're not too hard to control. Um, but then again, the only ones I have which is 3D compatible are the SR and the NCPX. And I haven't really got an SR set up completely yet so I can fly it, uh, which has been annoying. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I haven't shown you guys. I actually managed, me and Heino managed to get um, something installed in here. Um, yeah, it took a hard time. It was a hard job, but yay! We got my American fridge up here. So, uh, I just need to find a way to drag um, the cable so I can get the ice machine all that working again. It's gonna be nice. And the microwave. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of view, neighbor's roof. So yeah, and also I went out today, spent a little bit of money on blinds. I want those vertical blinds all over my house, so that'll be nice. It's going to be out there, and in the bedroom, and in the office, and in uh, the kitchen, and downstairs. So it's going to be quite a few things to do. I'm just looking up here, because um, that's going to be painted white. Uh, I don't like that color there. Maybe it's going to be white or the gray. Because that color is not nice. So, yeah. Alrighty, so... There's only really the bedroom to do yet. Which is in here. And, uh... What I need to do, uh, I can just show you guys here. What I need to do is I need to get some... Some skirting board down there. The guys who put down this floor hasn't been very good. Mainly, I don't know if you can see it, but when you put laminate floor down, you're not allowed to put it all the way out to the wall because it can expand. Oh, oh yes, you can probably see it now. No, you can't really see it. Have a look at that. If I do this, can you see them? That is because the guy who put it down hasn't been very clever. He needs to allow minimum of a half a centimeter for each side all over and that's also a problem in here thankfully it doesn't do anything but he has to it way too close and uh, yeah with all that stuff there I need to remove that slight old paint and stuff but it's gonna be nice when we're done so yep and have I got anything else to show you guys all my kitchen stuff no well I painted this out right here well does it look much better when you got those two in a, a nice grey shade than instead of having that black shade over there? That looks horrible. Alright, enough about the house. I want to do something to eat now, so uh, I'll see you guys maybe later. So take care. See you. Bye.